I grew up in the business. Uh, my parents had a small rural nursing home in Lyons, Nebraska. And so I served as a dietary server, a maintenance man, uh, life enrichment, uh, assisted with that as a kid growing up. And so it was in the early 80s when dad called and said, you know, he wanted to sell or get out of the business. And uh, I decided to come back and buy him out. And it started with 40 apartments and a handful of employees. And uh, today we've grown into three campuses, uh, serving a little bit of everything from independent uh, senior housing to assisted living, to skilled nursing, to rehab. Uh, skilled nursing. Yeah. The Fremont locations roughly in total if you include all of the contract um, employees that we uh, have locally have about 375 team members. So lots of people in the Fremont community that we employ. We've been blessed as an organization to have so many wonderful people that wanted to kind of uh, join the journey, bought into the vision of what we feel uh, makes us special and unique and uh, it's just been fun. It isn't just, you know, what can we provide in the way of health insurance or dental coverage. We tend to look at what works within our team members' um, lifestyle, what things are important to them. So we really take a look at sort of five categories. We take a look at physical well-being, financial well-being, social and emotional well-being, um, career well-being, and community well-being. And so with all of those different facets of a team member, um, we try to implement strategies that help them um, find success in whatever way is important to them. Uh, look at our team members as part of our family, uh, as part of, uh, I, I've often said, you know, our greatest asset are the people that choose to join our team. And so I think we, we have to give back, we have to engage them, uh, and hopefully by doing that, they're able to take that, that mission, that vision, and it then impacts the people that choose to live here and get services here. One of the things that you know has been the most exciting part of what we do is, is really getting to ingrain ourselves in the day-to-day -day lives of the people that work with us and that we work alongside to help, um, as Russ says, celebrate their life. And we like to have fun. Um, we're an honorary group of people. We, you know, it's not uncommon for us to poke and prod one another or to, you know, flip each other jokes or to host a party or to go on a boat ride um, together or, you know, to meet for a cocktail after work. We're very, a very purpose-driven culture. And so, you know, you get up in the morning, you come to work, you work with people who are passionate alongside of you. Um, and passion and purpose are a big sort of component of who we are as a company and part of our culture. I, I love the fact that uh, we were able to build something that impacts lives. Uh, I can't say that I, I envisioned where we would end up, um, but I think we had a sense of who we wanted to be. And organically, we've been able to kind of grow and do the right things. Um, and I, I think make a very positive impact, not only people that work here, but also people that choose to live here. We are headquartered actually out of Fargo, North Dakota and opened up in 1955. So we've been open for 63 years selling ag, ag equipment. Butler as a company has 18 stores throughout North Dakota, South Dakota, and Nebraska, and there are four here in Nebraska. Besides Fremont, we also have one in Kearney, Shadron, and Pickerel. And we are the local Agco dealer, which is Massey Ferguson Tractors, as you can see behind me, Challenger Tractors, Sunflower Tillage, White Planters, Cleaner Combines. We also are Rogator, Interrogator Application Equipment, uh, Horse Tillage and Planting. Um, so that is our main line. Uh, we are full service parts, service, and sales, obviously. So yes, we service everything here. We also have resident techs that are located outside of the Fremont area um, that run basically mobile shops with cranes and they can do everything that we can do here in the field or in, in the in the shop. In, in Fremont for Butler Ag Equipment we have 28 employees here locally. Um, five of which are sales, we have some admin, uh, we have 15 
technicians or shop personnel and three parts people. We offer two health plans here at Butler. A high deductible plan that is geared towards our younger techs and employees who just don't visit the doctor that often. The other plan is a traditional PPO with only a $200 deductible per family or $100 for singles. We just don't see that that much anymore. Another great benefit for Butler that Butler offers is its profit sharing plan. So Butler matches 10% of your salary into the plan. Not your investment, but 10% of your salary automatically without any other investment. There's also an additional 5% put in based on the company's performance. Uh, and that 5% has been done 62 of the last 64 years. So a total of 15% of your salary automatically contributed to the plan with no match. Because I think it just comes down to treating employees with respect and having some fun in the workplace. We cater in lunches at least once a quarter, bring in donuts for breakfast occasionally and at least once a month, recognize our wins and just not take ourselves too seriously. Very customer focused. Um, we run 24 seven if need be, especially during harvest and planting. Uh, there's always somebody on call, whether we're in season or not. Uh, we have after hours coverage for both parts and service. And if somebody needs something is broke down and we can't fix it, we do have loaners available as well. So, I mean, I'm always on call, always have my phone. Uh, same with at least one parts person, one service person around the clock. We've got a niche in the fire truck industry as we're just building elevated uh, platforms, ladders, and waterways. So we've kind of got a niche in that and uh, uh, we start from the ground up. We buy the raw material, we cut it, we weld it, we paint it, we put it on trucks, we operate it, make it work, and send it on down to have the truck finished. First of all, we're very fortunate to be able to survive the 30 years in this industry. And uh, we've started out with uh, four employees and now we've got 80 employees. When we started, we were drilling holes by hand and we were cutting things with torches. And Today we have automated machines and, and CNC machines and we have a lot more uh, programmable machines that do the work today. Uh, we've been very fortunate over years to add benefits to our company policy and policies for our employees. Uh, when we started, we really had nothing, but today we, uh, we've got uh, health insurance that we provide for the employees. We pay up to 80, a little over 83% of that for the employee and the family. Um, we have a 401k today that we, uh, um, we put in 9% without any matching from the employee. We like to develop our employees, and so as we've been able to, um, our company has grown, we've been able to offer our employees um, tuition assistance. If they want to better themselves in their position or learn more about their position, then we reimburse and help them with their tuition. We also have an employee assistance program and that helps it's at no charge to the employees. But you know, so many times people have personal things that we're really not educated enough to be able to give them the correct advice. But this employee assistance program offers them um, assistance in different things like financial assistance if they need some legal advice if they have some counseling services that they need for their family so we do family days we do christmas parties um, some one to a tradition that we started even way in the beginning was we always gave our employees um, a Thanksgiving meal on the day before Thanksgiving. And we have done that since day one when we had four employees and we continue, it's kind of just a tradition um, to give thanks for everything that um, we've been blessed with. So. The family day that we actually will open up our shop and invite the employees and their families in and then we give them rides in the aerial trucks yeah. and they get to experience going up to the top of an aerial and, and uh, seeing what that's all about. And that's always, that's always been a big hit for, for the families. It's probably the thing they love the most because they get to bring their family members in to show them what they have built. Uh, we've got some longevity employees. Uh, we had a problem with that when we first started, keeping employees, but as we've added uh, benefits and different things, uh, we've been able to retain our employees. Mm -hmm.